In today's video, with the help of 3D animation, let's explore the science behind the functioning of the world's most popular assault rifle, the AK-47. Movies and games typically show the character picking up the AK-47 and firing it directly by pressing the trigger. However, there are three steps to be completed before pressing the trigger. The magazine of an AK-47 rifle has a capacity of about 30 bullets, so the first step is to check whether the gun is loaded, or if you're holding it just for a photo op. Secondly, before pressing the trigger, you will leave this charging handle behind so that the spring, while automatically moving forward, loads one cartridge from the magazine. The third action is to select the mode in which you want to use the AK-47. With the safety lever set in the top position, the AK-47 is now in safe mode, which means the charging handle cannot return to load the cartridge and you cannot fire the rifle. To fire, you need to remove this safety lever from safe mode. Now it is time to pull the trigger, but before you do that, you should know that this part of the AK-47 is called a hammer, and this part is called a disconnector. Because of this main spring, the hammer is making utmost efforts to hit the firing pin, but it is blocked only because of being stuck in the trigger. As soon as you press the trigger to fire, this hammer will strike the firing pin with full force. If the firing pin is propelled, it will move forward and hit the cartridge at the back, thereby indenting the primer compound inside the cartridge. The propellant will catch fire because of the high pressure created inside the primer. The fire here will generate high pressure gases, which will drive this bullet forward at the speed of about 2,500 feet per second. Because of the AK-47's configuration, this is the point where high-pressure gases have a chance to expand. As a result, these high-pressure gases will come up and push this gas piston backward. The notable point is that this gas piston is already connected to this bolt carrier, so because of high-pressure gases, not only the gas piston, but this bolt carrier is also moving backward. With this bolt carrier in the rear, three favorably essential actions take place on which the entire working mechanism of the AK-47 depends. The most important part of this video is about to begin, so we'll break them down into sections to make sure you understand these three actions well. But before explaining those three actions, here's a gentle reminder for you all. There's no doubt that 3D animation is the best form of explaining anything in the world right now. A cherry on top is that I finally decided to launch the English version of my Master 3D with Professor course on the 1st of July 2022. Master 3D with Professor is a premium 3D animation training program that teaches you how to create 3D animated videos in record time. To avail 70% early bird discount on the original course price, make sure you visit brainrig.com and subscribe to my authentic newsletter. Now, the bolt carrier will push the hammer as it moves behind, which will cause the hammer to get stuck in the disconnector. Observe that you have not released the trigger yet after firing. If you look closely, once I removed my finger from the trigger, the disconnector released the hammer, but the hammer instantly got stuck in the trigger. Upon pressing the trigger for the second round, the hammer will strike the firing pin. The firing pin will strike the primer, gases will release, and the bullet will be fired. That is, the same process is repeated. When the bolt carrier returns after being retracted, the next cartridge inside the gun will load into the barrel due to the tension of the recoil spring. In the third act, the bullet will go forward after a shot is fired, but this cartridge part, known as the kiosk or case, will return due to being trapped inside the bolt, will hit the ejector and blow out. We have seen the mechanism of AK-47 in semi-automatic mode, 
That is, once you press the trigger, a bullet will be fired. But AK-47 also has the automatic firing mode. That is, once you press the trigger, it will fire all the bullets in the magazine at once. You can use this safety lever in the center to switch the AK-47 to fully automatic mode. In addition, this safety lever will block the disconnector when you place it in the center. Now, let us understand what will happen next. Upon pressing the trigger in the fully automatic mode, the hammer will release and hit the firing pin. The bolt carrier will return as the bullet exits the gun due to high-pressure gases. It will keep the hammer behind as it comes back. But the only difference is that the hammer will not get stuck in the disconnector, since the safety lever blocks the disconnector. The problem now is that this hammer will follow behind as soon as the bolt carrier moves forward, and thus, automatic mode wouldn't work, correct? No, it is not like that. Here, the auto-sear works. Even if the disconnector doesn't catch the hammer, the auto-sear catches it in fully automatic mode. When the bolt carrier comes back, it will remove the auto-sear, which will result in the hammer hitting the firing pin and the firing process continuing until the trigger is released. The working mechanism of AK-47 was the creation of Russian Lieutenant General Mikhail T. Kalishnikov, who always thinks outside the box. Similarly, American inventor Hiram Percy Maxim developed the technology for silencers. But how does that silencer work? With the help of 3D animation, I have explained it on this channel. So watch that video by clicking on the image shown on the screen now. Thanks for watching.